All right, what's up, guys? I'm back out here this week on the Harris chain. I don't know if you guys saw the video I posted last week, but I was on Lake Harris. We've been doing pretty good fishing offshore. I got this Lake Master chip and these graphs for Christmas, and all I've been doing is trying to run these offshore contours. I'll run to them, idle across them. If I see any type of structure like grass, shell, brush piles, anything, I'll shut down and give it 30 minutes and fish. And to be honest with you guys, lately it's been paying off in a, in a big way. So I'm doing something a little bit different today though. I'm gonna go to Lake Griffin, as you can see behind me. I'm here on Lake Griffin. Have not fished Lake Griffin in a couple years, man. But I feel like if I could catch fish offshore doing what I've been doing as good as I can on Harris, I should be able to come back over here to Griffin and make it happen as well. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Just kind of having fun playing with the graph, my electronics. I'm out here with my buddy today, Corey from Fishing Unlimited. What's up, guys? He finally got a YouTube channel, guys. I'm gonna link his channel down in the description below. Check him out, subscribe to his channel. Help him make it grow, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So as I always say, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Let's roll this footage. Oh my gosh. All right, that's gonna, yeah, hold on. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that is an absolute stud. All right, we gotta be calm because there's people in the area. All right, Corey's got one over six here. Oh my gosh, dude. Is that, you using fluoro? Oh, shoot. Power pool's going up. Oh my gosh, dude. Just swim him to me when he's tired. Just play him. He ain't going nowhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's bigger than I thought, dude. I'm gonna bring him up. I'll bring it to you. Dude, he wasn't going nowhere, bro. All right, throw him in the well. Call our other one out, guys. Look at the size of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, dude, it's a freaking giant. I'm not kidding. Uh, it's grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get it. Stay down. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me just play her. Yep, let her do her thing. Give her line, give her some line. I'm trying to. Keep it. 15 pound fluoro. I know. Got that mouth. Yes! Dude, we are catching a freaking Mondo bag! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my god. What's funny is literally the cast just before this, I said, Corey, I got a giant joking with him. The fish out here is. You know, two, two and a half, three, a little better. Biggin. Biggin? Yeah. Yeah, real biggin. Oh my oh gosh, Lord. dude, how big is this one? It's coming up. Can't get him up. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold on, hold on. Yes! That's a good Look at that. Boom. 
Did we find them or what, son? Yeah, but... We're off the... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Off, what? off the mark. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Man, she hit it like a tank. She, she did good. <laughs> she gonna call out that last one? Maybe. Oh my gosh. That's bad when you don't know if that's gonna call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna call, bro. You have a coal, coal tag on the other one? No, but I'm fixing to put one on. <laughs> All right, guys, another one smoked it. See, this is the magic bait today. This has been the Z-Man chatter bait. This is a sledgehammer, guys. I'll be honest, it's like a $20 chatter bait, but it is the best chatter bait I've used to date. It doesn't hang up in the grass nearly as easy as all the other ones. And it snaps through the hydrilla pretty clean. I paired it up with a shockwave by Missile Baits. This is their swim bait. And uh, it's a pretty good little combo. All I'm doing is casting it out there, dragging it really slow along the bottom, just reeling it really slow. And then when it gets hung up, I snap it out. And a lot of times that causes the reaction strike and these fish just choke it. So that's what I've been doing today, guys. And uh, it's been paying off, man. Big it. You sure? Nice one. Little contour, man. One foot depth change. contour change dude. Yeah, it's so stupid. Awesome. I can't believe that dude. Throw them in the well. A good one? I'm I'm reeling in thinking I'm I have grass. I got this fish. Dude, I got a dude we found a freaking good good area. Hold on, let me throw this little one back in the water. Oh. Oh, he couldn't come off. Come on, give him to me. <laughs> what are you doing? Give it to me. <laughs> Get him. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. He choked it. Yeah, he did. Oh, man. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dude, you're putting together a freaking bag now. Just like that, one little spot change. One little spot change, a little bait change, that's all it takes sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so to show you what I've been doing when I'm talking about offshore contours, this is Lake Griffin, okay? Lake Griffin. What I'm doing, and this might be stupid, maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but it's been working for me is you see all these little holes here let me show you like you see this little hole right here that's an 11 foot hole and all out here might be you know 12 to 15 feet that little rise for some reason the fish like i guess in florida we don't really have ledges and stuff like you have in the tva so even like a one or two foot little contour change is enough to hold fish. So what I'll do is I'll run over there, idle around it real quick, see if there's anything on it, and if not, just go to the next one. And there's like another one over here. Go to that one. And then eventually you'll come to some and they'll have a bunch of hydrilla growing around them. I'll just shut down and start fishing it. And lately, the last couple of weeks, I've been catching a lot of uh, pre-spawn fish, man. It's like we're in the middle of March here in Florida and the fish haven't you know, totally spawned yet. So we still are catching pre-spawners. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, un 
unbelievable. Absolutely the, insane day. It was awesome, dude. <laughs> I had, I honestly could not have dreamt of a better day, man. For my first time coming out here in years, I just can't believe that the fish chomped like they did. Dude, it was absolutely amazing. I've only fished this lake maybe twice, and this is by far the best I've ever done. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Guess where I'm fishing tomorrow? Uh, gee, I don't know. Right <laughs> We're coming right back to Griffin. <laughs> so this next video you guys see on the channel is going to be probably right here on Griffin. Hopefully these fish stay put. So, uh, gosh, what an awesome day, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, though. But like I always say, thanks for checking out the videos, guys. I appreciate all the support. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. It helps it grow. If you like the video, like it. If you want to comment, say something down below. Whatever, okay? Check me out on SoundCloud, uh, Twitter, Instagram. No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> we're we're going to go ahead and end the video here, though. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. I feel good! Giant dude, gotcha. <laughs>